Hi. Yeah. We are heading to Mount Hagen on the flight 184. Uh, it's half past one now. We should reach Mount Hagen by 2 o'clock or 2 30. Actually, I want our flight. Our bed is there. We are going on this one. And from Hagen, we'll be heading to Herenda Willits for a night. And then the next day, Tuesday, we are trekking Mount Gilway. We are here at the Mount Hagen Airport. The passengers are just embarked out, and you can see the big bed there coming. And there's a new terminal, bed coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, halfway to Mount Gilbert. Yeah. Before it's 45, 40 minutes before we reach Karenda Village. And that's one of the villages here. We are going this way. Yeah, kind of our transport is here. We are here. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. We are in lots of similar places. And which calendar will it will be staying here for two days? Taking to summit of Mount Gilbert. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, you want to do that? Oh, my God. 
Uh, this is part of a uh, tree kangaroo. It's been kept here by the local. And this one was actually, uh, they took him from Mount Toto and they bring him over to Mount Gilwe and it's here. It's been kept, well fed, and it's here. It's so friendly now. And this one is a uh, local one. You can see his face here, he's smiling. It's so friendly. He wants to see the camera, he wants to come out. Oh, see. Yeah, his Sandip is a good friend. Uh, actually, his name is Sandip. And we got our friend here, um, the director for Nanga Conservation Project, Jarodan Henry is here. And our good friend from India, the first person to actually. We see this project yeah. and they are wearing an orange cap. This is one of our staff here. This is with the back and uh, is the pot, uh, the pot. The pot was. And also they kept uh, cassowary here. Yeah, check. Cassowary here. Must be the southern cassowary. And there's a small creek, some garo. That on this side. Mangilu is on the further. And then that's some ducks cap as well, and the ducks there, the locals. Towards this side is Mendy, and our boys are leading now, trying to trick up. And you can see some fresh strawberries here. Uh, blended the gilwe. It's uh, lots of uh, strawberries and a very bright sunny morning. Actually, we are in uh, Mendi district, Southern Islands province, and you can see the track up to Mount Gilwe's there and many villages below this side yeah and there's a guy keep coming here he's pointing towards Mangilwe and this is a village here people oh people are actually trekking to the summit now it will actually take us uh, eight hours to reach the Foot of summit. Oh, there's a kid here and some fan, local fan. That's a typical small village. Now we are going to track this path up. So we are leaving for the foot of Mount Kilwe. There's a base camp there. 
Seoul, I after eight hours of walking. Actually, I'm here at uh, uh, Sengdip waterfall. That's the waterfall there. You can see the waterfall, and it's roughly uh, four meters high. And then there's a uh, uh, two hut there for the tourists or the rangers here can come and stay. And also, we have this. Uh, uh, footpath, there's a footpath here, and there's another hut there as well. So, whenever you are here, you can come and spend that time here, and you can see the part of the uh, track footpath to this small uh, bungalow or hut for tourists to stay uh, on one night here, and that's some. Um, uh, solid rock boulder here and it's a small deep pool here as well for you to cross and there's another hut on this other side actually I'm happy because I'm here I might be the one of the luckiest person to come and see this waterfall and who knows I'm very happy to see this waterfall and it is uh, the source of the stream of this uh, small creek. It's from the foot of Mount Gilway. So actually from this side to Mount Gilway is roughly another uh, 8 more hours to track. So we actually within the uh, closer to the summit of Mount Gilway, but we are not yet there. But this is one of the things that you might be interested to see when you come here. And you can see the water is so clean clear, black crystal, uh, there is no anything dirty. You can see the forest is real virgin and there's some uh, foot track that they started path and a small bridge there so everything is good and there's two of my guides and they're rangers as well who work for this community. Yep. Okay, thank you so much. And don't blame Meditown. Uh, Meditown have seen come and up, come and up. Um, it's time of Karel. Karel come on same, no. It's time when I'm in school. I'm school from Ibla. Come on same, come on same, no. Go to the time of Komiya. Okay, don't blame. Don't say it's Mongol. Mongol High School. Okay, come on same. Go to the Birok. It's the Birok, I'm going to go to the Birok. Come on same, no. Mountain, no. Go to the Birok, I'm going to go to the Birok. 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 I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Komiya. I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Komiya. I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Tambul. I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Komiya. I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Komiya. I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Komiya. I'm going to have a lot of people who like to sleep in Komiya. Actually, I'm here at the uh, closer to the foot of Mount Gilwe. Almost, I did a 1,000 meter climb now. I'm here. Mount Gilwe is uh, actually another 4,000 plus meters, and I'm here. I'm sitting here, looking towards a beautiful Mandy Valley. Uh, you can see from there, you can see Medi Valley. Uh, the Medi Town is below, underneath one of these rings there. And you can see from here as well, you can see the Mongol Secondary School there. And from further beyond to this, you can see a sign of a white river there. And furthermore, it's a road that goes to Tari. So. And then this is kind up on the other side as well. So I am actually at a very beautiful spot looking down towards uh, the Mendy Valley. So um, the first village from Mount 
uh, go towards Istanbul. Maybe the last village was uh, towards Istanbul district, and the Komia village is down there. And our host community, the Kerenda community, are just below there. You can see, and then that's the uh, community school there. That's a uh, common school there, a primary school, actually. And then you, from here you can see there is a swamp, uh, a wetland type of area, and it's a very big area. So all this area people don't do gardening and all this. It's it's just stay there, and uh, people use some kind of you know grass for using and all this are collected from this swamp area. So that's a very big swamp area, uh, stretched out from Komea to um, the other side, the village on the other side there. And also towards uh, the Mendi, upper Mendi side, uh, sorry, we are towards Birup, Birup. So actually I'm here, I'm having a look from the view. Uh, in 1997 there was a they were set at fire during the drought season here, yeah. so you can see some of the trees have yeah, been bent down. You hardly find some of that normal uh, vegetation here, restored forest. So all the forest has been bent down, and you can see some of them are still standing here. You see the sign of fire there. So. Uh, almost 80% uh, of the forest has been bent down to a very um, set as the forest fire here at the foot of Mount Gilwe. So I am here, I am enjoying a very good look here. Those of you want to come over here and have a look here, it's almost uh, six hours of trekking from Karenda village to here, walk to from the Karenda village to the one of the transit sites towards the summit of Mount Gilwe. Actually, we'll walk under this forest uh, canopy area, calls, nice. Uh, it took me, I have to leave the village at seven o'clock and I'm here at one thirty. so it's, maybe I did not walk very fast, but I managed to reach the summit, uh, closer to the summit of Mount Gilwe. So, I'm actually not climbing the summit of Mount Gilwe, but some of my friends are gonna climb the summit of Mount Gilwe. I'll be staying here at this one of these beautiful huts at my back with my friend here and then from here I'll walk back to Karenda Village. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, we are here at the uh, transit. Somewhere it's roughly, we need not um, six I was more trekking to reach the summit of Mount Gilwe. Actually, I'm not gonna climb tomorrow. Uh, I've started at um, Karenda Village. It took me six hours to reach here. And at least I'm above uh, 1,000 meters sea level. And it's minus uh, 4,000 meters from the uh, Mount Gilwe. And we got our friend here. He's just here. Uh, it's gonna be our Guard in the night, and my two good friends are on the other side. We are, here we are, we are telling transit. stories, we are telling stories, and you can see them there, here, making fire. We are making fire, but outside there, you can see oh, that's a fall coming up, and the entire uh, Mount Glue, the mountains are covered with fog, and it's freezing out there. And you see, I'm already wearing myself, covering myself in a uh, sleeping bag. And this will be my bed. It's a very comfort bed. And I'm gonna lay down here all night. Tomorrow I'm gonna march back to Kerenda. And then I'll go to Mount William. I wear Mount again. And I'm glad that I did it. I'm gonna come back later to complete this trek sometimes. I might reach the summit. Thank you. <laughs>